All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model GX531GX. So first what you wanna do is undo the screws, the four screws here. So um, you'll need a PH0 for this. Um, and then I believe for the other screws are T5. So let me remove these four first. Okay. All right, so once you remove those four screws, you'll have to open the screen slightly, okay? I believe about maybe 45 degrees. Once you do that, you can lift this piece out, okay? And then once you lift that piece out, you can lift the whole um, tray out. If you don't open the screen 45 degrees, then this part will be trapped and you can't take it out, okay? So here you can see there's some magnets under here, um, and yeah. And same thing when you put it back, you have to put it at 45 degrees because as you can see, there's this little trail or um, rail that goes here. So you have to lift it 45 degrees so you can put the rail back in to this notch here. And then you can put this piece back down. All right, that's how you get that piece out. Now we will remove the other screws. So as I was saying again, around the outside, they are T5, I believe. So let's go with the T5 screwdriver. All right, so it's T5. Yep, T5. Remove all these screws. So there's one, hopefully, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these T5 screws on the bottom. All right. Once you remove those six, then you'll want to remove <coughs> the, these are pH one. So switch out from the pH zero and go to pH one. All right, you don't wanna use the smaller screwdriver on these because then you can strip them. So you'll want to remove all the screws around the frame. So there's one, two, three, four, five, let's see, six, seven, hopefully I don't miss any, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I believe. Okay, so remove those 13 screws. All right, one, two, three, four. Usually I like to go from like the top down so that way you can kind of make sure you get all of them. So five, six, Seven. These look like different screws, so I'll take them out later. Seven. All right. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oops. 12, 13, okay, let me make sure I didn't miss any. So remove those 13 screws. Okay, let's see if I missed any. Okay, so these are just the like LED strips. So I'm not sure if you need to peel those out or not. Let me see here. I'll probably take them out anyways. So there's two holding these LED strips here. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's glued down, so removing that screw alone is not going to really remove the LED. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of still stuck. It's holding onto the fan. So I'll just take those out just in case, but 
hopefully I won't have to actually remove them. So as you can see here, this piece, let me see, can use like a small needle or something. But as you can see, this whole strip will come up um, and then there's some adhesive here. So let's see what's hiding underneath. Okay, so if you want to remove the um, LED strips, you just peel up this plastic piece here. Okay, and then you flip up, hopefully you can see, you flip up this little latch at the back. Okay. And then once you flip up that latch, you can um, disconnect the, the LED. Okay, so here you can see it comes out just like this. I wouldn't peel this off because I'm worried that if you pull it, it's likely to get damaged. So I'm just going to disconnect it in case it needs to come out. So be very careful with these cables. They're, they're very thin. So they probably are going to break easily if you put a lot of, um, if you uh, flex them too much. Okay, so same thing with that one. Flip that little latch up and then you can pull out this. Okay, hopefully you can see, but um, yeah, you flip up these little latches here, okay? The little black latch, you flip it up and then you can pull out the cable. All right, so let's see if there's any other screws I need to remove from here. That's all removed. Okay, then it looks like it comes out from the bottom layer here. Let me make sure. Hmm. Holds together pretty well, so let me see how I can pop this. This is the first time I'm opening this laptop. So, let's see. It all looks to be solid on the top half. So, most likely you will have to remove the bottom layer. So, let's see if I can get a gap. Okay. So, the easiest way is on the back here. Um, you can slide your fingernail or a pry tool um, between the... I don't know what you would call that. I guess it's copper or dark brown copper. So you would slide it between there and the back plastic piece. And as you can see, it's getting slightly pried up. Okay. And you'll most likely have to go all the way around. Just follow that gap. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. This model's kind of tough. Hopefully there's no hidden screws underneath. was able to get underneath that part but it looks like this half it's kind of tough so I don't know if it's gonna pop up or not I do see little latches here underneath so you might have to poke at that with like a flathead screwdriver or something so let me see if I can release the latches that way okay so while you're getting between the two layers see if you can let's see if this will work uh, it doesn't seem to want to come out I don't want to just pry it and use too much force hmm. let's see okay if that's the case you might have to pry underneath and then lift it out looks like it's coming up okay Wow, this one is tough to separate the layers. So if you are going to attempt this, just know it's kind of going to be difficult. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't want to come out very easily. Let's see if I can get from the front. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. We'll go from the front layer. This side also seems very stiff. Okay, it's coming out. So, there we go. So, the clips are, hopefully you can see, clips are underneath this piece, not on the other end. So, what I did was I kind of put with my fingernails, I pulled it towards myself, and then also pulled this part down. Alright, and it looks like that's separating the layers. So, most likely these clips are going to be kind of dangerous to remove. They might break off but I'll see what I can do to get them out Let's see here I don't know if you can see it might help to hold this like this so I can show you okay so it looks like the clip on this side released itself so yeah it looks like you do have to 
put some kind of pressure because I don't know if you can see, but there's a little clip sticking out there. So what I do, um, get the pry tool and then pry it up this way. So that way it lifts up this part and then it also pushes this side out and it looks like that worked. Okay. So it wasn't happening on the other side for some reason, but it happened now. Okay, so here you can see, um, it looks like this back piece is its own separate part. Um, so let me see if I can remove that first, actually. So put the screen down. All right, oops, my screwdrivers are sticking to it. There's some magnets in there. All right, so lift that up. It does look like it's coming up separately. Okay. So just be careful. There might be some cables underneath. So let me make sure. Do it carefully, slowly. And yes, there are cables underneath here, as you can see towards the middle. So if you're removing this, be very careful. Um, it looks like this one has one of these pull connectors that you have to remove. So I don't know if I can show this on camera. I'll try. Um, Let's see here. No, I don't think I can show that on camera. It's too hard to hold it. Here you go. So there's that connector. So like other ones, I use my fingernails on both sides and then I kind of just pry it up. Um, if you can't do that, what you can do is try and grab as close to the cable as you can and just wiggle it. But let me try and do that with my fingernails. Okay, just like this. Grab both sides. I don't know if you can see. And then you just wiggle it. There you go. And the connector comes out like that. And then this connector you remove just by pulling up this little white part tab, and then it comes out like that. Um, I think I'm getting calls. Let me check real quick.